Thank you. All right. Now, audio should be good. Yes? No? Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, give it a sec. All right, cool. We're good now. I'm using my iPhone on this stand, so it's gonna be it's gonna be perfect. Don't worry. Um, try to upgrade a little bit here. So, all right, we'll, we'll just jump right into it. So I'll pull up the here we go. Uh, here we go. So we're gonna be doing the pearl diving scenario. Um, this is kind of a neat idea. I, I think someone got. I don't know who the author of this is. I would I would give them recognition. Maybe uh, Ignacy can, will pop in one day here and let us know. But basically, it's uh, uh, if you got the newer the newer edition of Robinson Crusoe, they have these little uh, discs, little circular discs that kind of like uh, like this, but they're like thinner. Uh, and I think someone got the idea. Hey, these are kind of like pearls. How about we just do a scenario based on that? So that's basically what we're doing today. Um, we can build a pearl necklace and appease the gods. So uh, let's go over here. So I'm on tabletop uh, simulator right now. And uh, so I just kind of pulled it in and here we go. So pearl diving. You spent your entire life on this little island. Battalion uh, Matanu. Okay, I can't pronounce that. Uh, and you want nothing more to see the world. You've heard of great water spirits that live on the other side of the island and may be able to help. As soon as, as, as you sought them on your, out, you discovered, to your surprise, that the spirits need to be but a simple gift. In the deepest depth of the nearby reef is a treasure trove of pearls. In return for their aid, you must dive and procure a number of these pearls in order to create a piece of jewelry, combining the art of man with the magic of the seas. It's a pretty good intro. <clears throat> um... I guess one thing to know is I don't I don't know if this is the full um, like this is 100% done so there's probably might be some tweaks here and there uh, that Joanna has been working on though so if there's any issues or this may not be what you're gonna get exactly it might be pretty it'll probably be pretty close <clears throat> so yeah so our goal is we basically need to oh, we have to build some nets um, and. With, that, with the nets, we can go take this pearl diving action, which is uh, right here. And based on how many ponds we send, we can <clears throat> collect so many pearls. But, of course, you know, diving in the depths, uh, there's going to be fish or whatever, rocks you're going to cut yourself on. We might have to suffer some wounds. Of course, if you want to run out of life, you die. So, <clears throat> so, um, Let's not do that. That's 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 generally something we want to avoid. Of course, the island, you know, the island wants us dead. Of course, so is Ignazi a little bit, I think. So, um, and basically, we just pull randomly from this bag. Um, so you put, you take a bag of, uh, so we'll have a here. We just made a quick bag of cubes, but you you would up. Uh, well, this is look at that odd. That, okay, these aren't sorted properly. Uh, I gotta I gotta shuffle the bag. No one's that lucky. Um, Let's try that. All right, go. And yeah, so that's simple. If you have to make a, a quick little bag, uh, and you're, you could get maybe get a cup or something. I don't know. Maybe we'll have an extra bag in the collector's edition. I'm not sure on that one, but simple enough. That's our bag for finding pearls. Um, let's see here. But yeah. So once we get once we get the pearls, then we can build the pearl necklace, which is basically the item saying, "Hey, now you can win the game." But we actually have to go and do, so it takes two black pearls, two white pearls, and a rope. We'll have to go over to, uh, okay, so look here, this is where we start, this is our beach tile. And then three tiles over is the place where we have to do the offering to the spirits. And basically it's just two pawns uh, at the location, and you win. Um, so that's pretty straightforward, right? So. We just jump into this and kind of go. Does anyone have any questions? We, um, we can kind of go through real quick before we jump into this. I've got some chat going, so that's good. All right. Watch you come up with your questions real quick. I'll finish setting up. All right. 
So All right, well, I don't see any questions right now, so we'll just jump through. Looks like we have about 74 viewers. That's that's pretty close to our 100 goal, Ignacy, so we'll have to see if more people join. Uh, well, I think it's 99 now, considering the comments, right, uh, uh, on the last update. Um, so, all right, so I, I basically decided to do a two-player game. I'm just going to run it myself. I figure a soul game, sometimes the soul game doesn't really... Uh, some some scenarios don't really play the way, normal way as other ones, so we're just going to do a two-player game. I'll run with two players. Um, I randomized the Carpenter and the Explorer, and of course you have to have Friday. Of course, we don't have the awesome new artwork Friday, but this is the Friday I know and love, and maybe I'll, I'll warm up to the new artwork. I, I think I probably will. Um, okay, so we actually have a question here. Uh, well, let's see, Dustin Savage. How many characters do you recommend playing with when you're a solo, when you're playing a solo version of the game? I think that all depends on, on you. Um, I, I kind of like having a little more pawns than just the two I have because if you do solo, you would play with a character uh, Friday and the dog. That's generally acceptable, like acceptable, like what you I would say acceptable practices. That sounds weird. That's generally what I hear people do, and that's what I do sometimes too. Uh, I like doing two player because then you get four pawns, then you have Friday. So, um, again, maybe a little more decisions. But four player, doing all four pawn, all four characters is quite kind of painful because you have all these things in your mind you want to do and no, there's no one keeping track for you. And so you just kind of go off on your own tangent. You forget all the, all the stuff in the phases and just, yeah. Uh, so I'd recommend two, I guess. Uh... Look at that. You are right. I have the wrong pawns. We just, we'll, we'll fix that. It doesn't matter a whole lot, but all right. There we go. Oh, can I not? So I'm no uh, table uh, top simulator expert. I usually do Tabletopia. So I had to do some re uh, some learning last night to I get, back, get back in the groove. Um, so okay, so let's let's start. Um, if you haven't played Robinson, um, I'm gonna try to give you a little information so you can maybe get a little idea what's going on. And generally, when I when I teach this game, I teach you almost nothing, and then you just you'll play, and then when things come up, I'll teach you. Uh, that's like the best way to learn. Uh, that's how Ignacy taught me like back in like 2012 or 14, 14 something like that, when I when I first met him but didn't really know him. So it was a that was a fun experience. <clears throat> so oh, oh wait we have ninety three now oh we're getting close ninety three viewers. Um, oh speaking of which, so you don't if you don't know we actually have a Twitch stream group for for Portal. It's a Portal game uh, gameplays I believe. Um, it's on the YouTube channel so we don't pollute this channel. We uh, also like if you're watching from Twitch it's the same same channel. And we do uh, at least a couple streams a week. Uh, sometimes we do Robinson. Sometimes we'll do Fifty First State. Uh, the Captain, one of uh, one of our part of our group, he does near Shima Hex every week. Um, he's probably pretty good at it by now, I would think. You, you would hope. <laughs> so, okay. So uh, let's start off with round one. So all right. So our first round, we have eight rounds. So we know eight, eighth round we have to we have to have the pearls by then and we have to take the actions. We could do it earlier, right? So at least round seven we have to have the pearls created, and at round eight we have to be able to take that the final action to win. Let's do that earlier. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, first round we skip the event phase um, because we showed up on the island and we already have an event that kind of helps us out. So that gives us food. So we'll skip that. We'll go to the morale phase. It's currently at zero. And this disc is kind of cool. I, I don't know if this is uh, where this came from, but I usually just use a cube. Uh, all right, so we're at zero, so first player doesn't get any tokens, uh, determination tokens. Production phase. Oh. Is that working? Okay. Huh. I can't uh, make the tile bigger for some reason. Anyways, so we'll get a wood and a food. 
Uh, it's a banana fish. That's what we'll call it. So, freeze that. We'll go to actions. Uh, all right. So I got my pawns, and I have to decide among my group, aka myself, uh, uh, what I want to do. Uh, so I will. I think the explorers are, explorers are going to go out and explore. We're going to take a little bit of risk here, and we're going to have Friday. Uh, making our uh, camp better here. This is probably not going to be the optimal playing here. I'm just going to make it make it so it's entertaining enough. Uh, so, uh, just a heads up. Like I, if I did that, the game would be a lot longer, and I'm not going to do that to you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So then the carpenter will go ahead and actually here we go. We'll have Friday come help the carpenter, and the carpenter will increase the morale here. Um, all right, um, and then of course we do our actions in in order, right? So I think I forgot anything. Make sure review the sheet here real quick. I've actually not played a full game of this yet, so uh, mistakes will probably happen. Just sets up. Um, yeah, that ring does look like it's from Dead of Winter. You're right. That's maybe that's maybe that's where they got it from. I don't know. It's whatever. All right, so. So Friday and our carpenter. We got some food crates here. You notice food crates are scattered across, scattered along the shore. So, all right, so two people, two two pawns. We get a, a banana, and we also get the the bread that doesn't expire. So that goes here in the future resource box because we don't technically have it yet. And good job, Friday. Um, all right, so first exploration, we'll do this one here, and we have to roll the dice because I'm using one pawn instead of two. So let's go ahead and just roll those up. All righty. All right, that's not a good roll. Um, oh, ouch. So you can, uh, fun fact, you can do these in order you choose. So I'll go ahead and just take the two, okay, two, two morale, two, two determination tokens. That goes to my explorer. Okay. Now I take a wound, of course, because, you know, why not? That's uh, the dice and then adventure. So I just draw one of these and flip it. All right. Vipers. You take your next step, you get bitten by a viper. All right, so oh my head, ow! I I guess I came from the 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 the, the vines, and I maybe yeah. All right, cool. So and, and of course, it's a shuffle in the event deck. So if you've never played Robinson, this is kind of the big mechanic: is sometimes you throw events into the adventures in the event decks, and they come back and haunt you. Uh, so flip it over, flip event deck here, shuffle that up. Oh, it's right on top. That's not good. Uh, okay, so then where are those tokens at? Okay, here we go. Explore. All right, so that was that was this one. All right, well, the next one I'm going to roll again. Hopefully I actually find something here. All right, let's go, 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 go. All right, that's a little better. So we just we discovered the tile. Uh, so I'll pull my pawn off here. Grab. All right. Because you can't make the tiles bigger for some reason. All right. Well. All right. So we found a hill. So and we also found a tiki. So uh, go over the tiki here. So basically, you do this in order, right? So I got a uh, one. So you meet a less kind spirit. Get two wounds. Yay, all right, cool. That's already taken three wounds so far. So, ow, ow. Great. Okay, and we'll put that number down. And, but we get, this is where it's good. We get, actually get two discovery tokens, so these are always good. Uh, let's flip them over. Hey, I get two food. And. Uh, the, this is the med. Uh, if you have the if you have the pot, you can get the medicine for free. Um, 
uh, over 99. Oh, 98 people almost there. Oh, wow, look at that. That's well, thank you everybody for joining. I appreciate it. This, is, this should be a fun time. I'd like to do this in person though at a convention, that'd be a lot more fun. But, um, okay, so all right, so we did that. We got the tiki, we also got a beast in our beast deck, so. I'm assuming this will probably be the bear, right? Because if you ever play this game, the bear is like one of the worst ones. Uh, fighting a bear, bare hand is is, is pretty bad. I don't I don't recommend it. Uh, <laughs> okay, so then now um, we also have an adventure. Can't forget that, right? So let's look at this. Wow, it says flu. That's probably not a good one. All right. During your trip, a cold rain leaves your soak leaves you soaking wet. You feel like you are getting the flu. Decide: discard food or shuffle in the event deck. Um. Well, considering I have a lot of excess food now, I'm probably just gonna discard one food and move on. So let's do that. Hey, we're on our two. All right. So I guess I guess we're doing a. Uh, I guess we're doing a tutorial stream at some point um, next week. I guess we'll, uh, we'll find a we'll find a time. All right, so get rid of that card. Get rid of our food here. Uh, I can put it back in the bag, right? It'd be all tidy. No, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, all right. Um, so we did. Let's go over to the carpenter down here. So remember, I uh, were doing the arranging camp action. So a carpenter is going to get two determination tokens and increase their morale by one. All right, so determination tokens are over here. And morale goes up by one. So using this weird tracker. It's so weird. All right. Oh, I've been realized too, we have to convert this over to food right away. So where's our food? There it is. That's the end of the action phase. Um, so um, everything comes down from this box, from the future box, into the available. Uh, cool. All right. So we'll go to the night phase and uh, the weather phase. And in this case, we have nothing, at least not until round five. And then. Uh, night phase. So the carpenter will eat some food, and the explorer, Fry doesn't have to do it because he's, he's he just goes and finds his own. He has a secret stash somewhere. We don't know about it. Um, and unfortunately, this banana will expire. So that's round one. All right, pretty quick, right? And then uh, obviously it'll get one more complex as more things happen. Oh, I forgot to get rid of this card. And oh, another thing too, I forgot. Well, there's a lot of things to keep track of, right? Um, that's why it's fun playing with other other players because then you can uh, one person can do this, other person can do whatever. So we found some hills, right? So we have to go through all our inventions here. So get some of the drums or the cubes, and we got bricks and the pot. Oh, go on the icon there. There we go. Uh, bricks. All right. Uh, I guess I didn't show you the inventions. This is the ones we have um, <clears throat> to choose from. So obviously you get the starting ones, right, with the arrows, and then you get five extra ones. Uh, drums could be kind of helpful if I could find a, a, a a hide, get the extra morale of you every time. Um, the pit for extra food may be, may be worthwhile too. So, all right, well, that's first round. That was pretty quick. So, we'll start off the second round. Okay. Um, let's see here. I think I forgot anything. I think, I think we're good. Oh, uh, good call, Ace. Oh, that's right. I forgot the shelter. Um, 
So unfortunately, as you do know, if I have shelter, you sleep under the stars and uh, you take a wound for every person. So our explorer is really not having a good time. And if you see Friday here, he doesn't need shelter. He just runs off and finds a tree and laughs at us because he has like this sweet, he's a sweet tree house with all this food, like a mini fridge probably, you know. Come on, come on Friday, share. Um, okay, so I copy paste off to try that because yeah, it's getting annoying kind of traversing. Uh, all right, let's do chat real quick. Oh, all right. So let's, that's right, if I had the camp manager Ignazi, you know, if I, you would send me one, I would put it right in front of me, right here. I can, I can beta test it for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, n now I'm getting. <laughs> All right. Yes, I did. I didn't talk about the campaign yet. I assumed everybody who was here would be would know about the campaign. The campaign is running, um, and I actually can show you right here i have it on my web browser right here you can check it out look at that we're almost at ten thousand people i mean it's 500 still ago but um that's that's pretty uh that's pretty awesome actually i i uh i have high hopes for this campaign i, mean, I love this game so um and what was the what was unlocked today people saw that right that, that was a big one i think was neat let's go look at that one real quick uh I'm gonna just take three scenarios from Board Game Geek and, and put them in the book. You know, tweak them a little bit, but that's really cool. I mean, I, I I've played some of those and they're kind of fun. And I mean, they're not perfect, right? Because they haven't had hundreds of playtests and all this experience behind it. But that's really cool. I I I uh, I'll have to look through some of them. Um, but I also like this miniature. I'll probably always have it, always use it. Maybe uh, the first player marker. But uh, I have a feeling there might be a better first player marker coming up. I don't know. I have no inside information, but maybe it's just gonna be a giant cookie from Ignacy. That'd be that'd be cool. <laughs> All right, let's let's get back to this. Uh, we'll pull that back down. All right. All right. So round two. Let's do this. Um, Remember event phase, right? So, uh, all right. So Ruby's talking about the uh, the app companion cards add-on. So I guess they're these are the ones where there's like the horse, there's the uh, the parrot, right? So you got, you're gonna get ten extra cards with that, and uh, I believe they just their events and adventures based on like that companion being in the game. So you may not even see it, right? Um, every game, which would be cool, right? You you have a horse, but you know maybe there's an event where once every so many games, you oh your horse broke its leg, you have to make a decision: do you want to eat it? <laughs> of course, of course not. I wouldn't eat uh, old Betsy or pick a name for a horse. Uh, but <laughs> that could be fun, right? Uh, if you're playing a Dead of Winter, right? There's that. There, there's one of the. There's something like that in one of the. Um, crossroad cards. Um, so we'll say I'm assuming there's probably more of them if 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 they're still happening, right? So. Oh yeah, I actually forgot to move the first player marker. So let's let's do that. Good job. Good catch, chat. Okay. So we'll see that event card. Of course, you know I shuffled right, and uh, you know I just happen to want to be happening on top. There's there's. Uh, you know. What are the odds of that, right? So let's 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 see this pain. What are the vipers doing to me? As you as you expected, the small bite turned into a serious illness. If you don't have the cure, which I know, uh, the character with uh, the marker on his head has only one pawn during this round. Discard this. I'm the drawing of the card, right? So, all right. Well, we'll take this pawn and put it up here. That's sad. That's a nice to have an extra pawn. Um, and of course, we'll get rid of that token. We don't need that. Go away, token. And now we draw a card. So let's, uh... 
Weakness. You hope, hope that it is just a temporary weakness and not something serious. You'll rest, eat, and hopefully get better. The, around the first player cannot use his special determination skills. All right. Eh, that's unfortunately that's the person who actually has the determination tokens. Uh, well, actually, yeah, I guess they both do, right? So, all right. So we'll remember that, and then of course, if I spend an action here uh, upon there and rest, then I can discard this card and get a determination token. That one's not so bad. I might I might not spend my time on that. Um, okay, so now we're determination. So we have one determination from the morale track. All right. Unfortunately, I cannot use my actions. Here, we'll put a cube so I remember that. <clears throat> oh, let's write the book icons. Let's go over that real quick. Unfortunate wins. So I'm getting sick, I'm getting hurt, and now I have I have a uh, wins coming along. So where's that token? So weather phase. Uh, I'm going to lose one palisade, um, which I don't have. So I'm probably going to take a wound. I don't see myself investing in a, a palisade. I know I'm going to lose right away. We'll be fine. It'd be fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, Tropical Penguin, this is a solo of two characters. I just figured it would show the scenario a little better than uh, just having one character. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I forgot to show you guys, we actually do have Empty Bottle and Biscuit. So I, I do have some potential attack I can use. And, uh... uh <laughs> yeah, I'll get better. I, I need to keep track of things better, you're right. It's just... Try to run a stream at the same time and listen to look at chat, because, you know... You're important, right? And trying trying to teach a, a game that's not the easiest game. Yeah, so uh, chat it up if I'm making a mistake or missing something, um, because I, I will make a mistake here. Um, okay, so we've done the morale. We've done the event. We did the morale, and I have production. I'm still on that sweet, sweet beach here, so I'll get myself a wood and a fish. A banana fish. And the extra wood comes down here. And, well, it comes down production right. So, we have two wood, right? So, I'm playing two players. So I can actually build a shelter for two wood. And I'll prevent myself some wounds. That's a pretty important step. Because, um, right, that's going to give me, save me a bunch of wounds throughout the rest of the game. So I'm gonna do that. Um, we have a carpenter, right? So he can do his job, and we have a reroll of two tokens. Okay. So now we go down to the production phase. So like I said, I'm gonna send my carpenter along. We're gonna build ourselves. We're gonna build ourselves a shelter here for two wood. And because I got I got two determination tokens, I can reroll that, right? So in just case if I roll something bad. So we do, we'll do this one, but I, I won't need to, right? I'll just I'll just roll it perfectly, yeah. Um. So, and I have, I have I have some food, and I also have some food for storage. So I don't have to technically worry about food right now. So I'm tempted to increase my morale one more time, and get this get this engine going. Um, so I have a carpenter building. I still have Friday. And I eventually need to build the net right, uh, but the net requires a rope, which requires planes. So I need to explore more. Um, so we're gonna throw the carpenter out there and explore. And I'm I'm tempted to throw Friday out there and explore, but here's the one drawback of exploring Friday. If you roll an, a, an adventure with Friday. Then you suffer a wound, and if you roll a wound on the wound die, you roll a wound, and then Friday is basically almost dead. So it. <laughs> so um, we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna risk it. I think Friday can do this. Um, 
Also a thing to know too, right? I need to get on this side of the island eventually. So I can't just stay around here. I have to eventually get over. Um, yeah, all right. We're, we're going to do tropical penguin. We're going to we're going to do that. we're going to two different explorers. We're going to gamble. Um, because like this game, if you don't at all, you're just not going to win. Like Ignacy knows that. He laughs at that. Uh, trying to be safe. Um, so let's see. We did have a question here, real quick. Uh, good chat. Uh, what was it? By the way, the food token must be used on this turn or can be kept for the falling without rot. Um, is that referencing the food token? Oh, th that we generate in the production phase? Yeah, that, that'll rot at the end of the, the night phase. Um, but the bread doesn't, right? The bread is like a... It's, it's really stale while we still eat it. Uh, um, it can stick around for a while. So, so um... Yeah, so I'll, 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 I'll use my, my banana and my, my bread for tonight. But, uh, all right, so we'll, we have all our pawns down, and of course our second explorer pawn uh, we can't use this round. And we're increasing morale again. So let's do, do our, our uh, actions. So left to right. So I'm not, not doing the, the events or threats. I'm not doing hunting, which is, this is probably the bear. We all know that's the bear. <laughs> Uh, we're not we're building actually so we'll go and do that so I'm building with a carpenter here and we'll get a we'll get a close-up here on the dice that's right uh, all right well oh okay that, oh no, don't roll them again don't roll them again okay um, so I'm gonna spend my two determination tokens We'll pop them up here to do this action, uh, and re-roll this one. I figure worst case, I'll uh, I gotta not cheat my roll here. All right, come on, build the. Oh yeah! All right, so I built the shelter. So this won't be as satisfying as it will be, you know, with uh, the camp they're gonna get and, and the kick and the. The cakes are the game found a pledge manager, but uh, you know, I, I can put a cube down that that almost feels like the same thing, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, but but I, have, I can put this token up. Look at that. I don't need the dog, we, we don't need the dog in this game. <laughs> the dog's on a break. Um, Okay, so we have a shelter now, so I'm not going to take a bunch of wounds that way. And but unfortunately, my carpenter took a wound. Um, I don't think I've ever had the carpenter not get to take a wound when building anything. You think building they would not take wounds? It's almost like a guaranteed. It's it's one of the higher damage um, dies, I believe, when you roll for wounds um, than the other ones. That's probably why. But it, it, it doesn't feel it feel like it's against me. Uh, so we're not doing a gather, and we have our exploring to do. So let's explore. We are going to use... What do the carpenters exploring? And we're going to use the dice. Let's go for it. Apparently the carpenter is a little better explorer um, than the explorer, of course. Um, all right, so let's take a wound and do an adventure. Yeah, Ignacio's right. We have 100 people, uh, 104 now. So we're definitely going to be uh, doing a tutorial stream. I was, I was probably going to do one anyways, just because if I can teach more people to play this game, then maybe there'll be more stuff in the future for me. You know, that's not self-serving, right? Nah. <laughs> All right. Let's we'll see if we have some better luck here with uh, this card. I got a feeling this is another card I'm not going to like. Uh... Remains of a settlement. Deep in the forest, you discover a ruined settlement. Decide. Discard this card or draw three mystery cards. Only resolve one trap and two treasure. And shuffle into the event deck. Um, yeah, we're, we're doing that. We're, I, don't, I don't care what the bottom of the card is. I'm sure it's... I'm not trying not to look at it. We're doing it. So, all right. Um, where's that event? Where is that? Okay, stack up here. All right. So this deck is... Uh, 
this is always a fun deck. You don't always get to use these cards. Um, so let's, let's shuffle it up here so you guys will know I'm not cheating. Rigging the deck. Uh, all right. So let's take the first one here. All right. Well, but it's not that simple, right? So it's just traps and two treasures. So we're not doing that one. Okay. There we go. Hey, look at that. Protective Amulet. The mysterious legacy of the tribal shaman. Keep this card. You can use it once to remove any token from the board. Discard after use. That seems pretty good. Here, we'll... And technically, I don't technically have this item, so I can't use it yet, but uh, we'll keep it there. And then... Hey, a barrel! That's, that's a good one here. Barrel. A barrel? You can't believe your, your own eyes. And it's still in good condition? What's inside? A miracle. Burgundy wine. Oh, yeah. Um, a little bit of day drinking here, right? <laughs> keep this card. Use once during the night phase, and each player can heal one wound. After use, you can store up to two food on this card. This food does not rot during the night phase. Hey, so on my bananas, I'm not going to go bad. Um, I don't know. That's, that's pretty good. Uh, now we have to do the trap. So hopefully... Mm. Oh, not giant snake. Oh, come out. Oh, I put the deck there. It's cheating. Gremlins. All right, this is probably not good. Blowgun, you feel a light prick as a dart penetrates your skin. Next round, um, uh, you you only have one pawn available. Keep this card as a reminder. Let's see here. Oh, pop it over here. Let's see here. What was the card here? Alt. Yeah. Yeah, so Tropical Ping had a question here. It's like, uh, wait, you can stop, right? And not in this case, because technically I I have to do these, right? If it was like resolve, like draw five cards, resolve like treasures or whatnot, I could just do as many as I want. And then, okay, I, I got no treasures. I'm going to stop resolving cards. So, yeah, you have to do that one. I'm like 99% sure on that one. Um, okay, so what's... Let's rotate this card. Uh, there we go. Of course, you know, I have to lose another pawn for another turn, right? So, um, and that was my carpenter. So we'll have to remember that's the case. We'll take carpenter off. All right. We did the adventure. We took the wound. And then we're going to explore. All right, so we found a river, and there's a beast. So we'll get the beast into our beast deck here. That's probably the tiger. Uh, okay, so let's shuffle that up. And then we get three determination, uh, not determination, three discovery tokens. So these are always fun. So we're gonna get a wood. We'll get a, if we can get the pot, we'll get extra couple wounds back. And then, you know, if you haven't played Robinson Crusoe, there are these special tokens. So every sheet will tell you what they are. Um, so let's see here. Abandoned knife. Placed uh, yeah, two of these markers on the sh uh, shucking knife. Uh, I'm not a big pearl clam person. I'm assuming that helps you open up clams. Uh, and in this case is the, the thing I can build that helps me, helps me um, let's see if I can't see this at all. Yeah, place three. And I kind of can figure that way. Nah, it doesn't make any better. Uh, so basically, we put, put three, three, three charges on this card, and if we ever take wounds while we're doing pearl diving, uh, hunting for pearls, we just don't take them. We take, take a marker off. So kind of like a little bit of a lifeline. Of course, we have to build it, right? We have to have a knife, but we have to find a mountain for that. Um, so we did find a river, so we'll go over and uh, mark these. So we have, so we can build the dam now and the map. So let's do dam. So let's try the copy thing we're talking about in chat. There you 
There you go. I learned something new today. <clears throat> okay. And of course, you know, Friday, he's got this. Friday has this. So let's... Like I said, Friday has it. Um, so, completely successful. No extra wounds. Friday's like, I know, I know this like the back of my hand. What's what's wrong with you guys exploring? So, all right, good job, Friday. And look at that. Well, we found the found a mountain. It'd be nice to find this earlier so we could actually not take wounds. Um, so, all right, but well, we found another tiki, right? So, let's do that. Someone tries to steal your pearls. Roll the die, and if question mark, discard a, a pearl. All right, so let's go over and... <laughs> uh, okay, so let's roll that die and see what... Alright, question mark. So, if you, do, if you roll a question mark, we have to discard a pearl. We don't have a pearl, so we so we all take a wound. Because uh, it's the um, it's unfulfilled demands, that's the rule, I believe. Okay. And we'll put a two down. So that was a tiki. We find another animal. I think uh, chat's, chat's think I'm going to die. I mean, you can start taking bets when I'm going to die. That, that'd be interesting. It's not going to happen. I'm going to win. This is going to happen. <laughs> so let's, let's shuffle the deck here. Got my, what's it, tiger, bear, and probably the, uh, I can't think of the rest of right now. Oh, uh, uh, the gorilla. That's right. The three worst ones. <laughs> um, and oh, yeah, we also get a scarby token. So let's see what this is. All right. Oh, the number should be random. Did we read that? You're all right. This has to be random. Well, um, we're gonna move on. <laughs> You know me doing order right. Um, it would make sense if you make this random. So I just happened to do one and two. That's 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 that happened, right? That that was random enough. Um, so I told you I'd make a mistake on the scenario somewhere. That makes it a little more interesting, I think. Be random. <clears throat> so let's see here. Yeah, to the action, we got the discovery token, which happened to be an extra pawn for building, and then we'll do the uh, range and camp action. So, my explorer will get two determination tokens, which I can copyright. There we go, that's much nicer. And we have two morale. Uh, I think Ace asked a question here. That number of tokens goes in again to the bag after they appear. I would think not because you usually put those tokens on the tile. Um, that'd be that'd be a good clarification. We have room to put that on the on the scenario sheet, so um, that'd be rough if you just did two a bunch of times and you just couldn't ever build your necklace. <laughs> um, we'll have to we'll have to make sure we can get that to Joanna and she can. See if that's what her thought was or whatever. So, oh. all right. So that's the end of the action phase. We have the weather phase. Remember, um, right? We have the storm token. So that's just minus one palisade. So unfortunately, we don't have a palisade. So we're going to be taking. Uh oh. Ouch. 
I thought we were going to have a lot of morale going on next next round, and apparently, um, yeah, not so much. So, that's rough. <laughs> Alright, and then we'll go to the night base. So we'll go over here, get my token down. That could be nice to have like a sweet like a sweet token here, right? To indicate what base you're in. That might be a good uh, good good suggestion up in the comments. Um, like a circular thing or something. Maybe that's already going to be a thing. I always usually use a cube because that's what you have extra. Um, all right, so night phase, right? So we uh, before the night phase, you would in in the beginning of the night phase, you can choose if you're going to move your camp or not. Um, and usually you want to kind of move the place where you can get wood and, and wood and uh, fish. But now at the kind of the point now, I kind of just want to move forward so I can get closer. So I'm going to move the river. And, and of course, right, now I, now I, I do I have a shelter? Yes. So if you discover the mountain tile, like the first round, you can move to it and not have to take any damage from um, slipping outside. Uh, so that's a, again, a, tip, a tip for you. Um, yeah. So then uh, we have to eat a food per person. And of course I have my bread and banana. And of course I have this box of stuff. So this turns into wood. And got my cards here. So I have this barrel here. Um, remember, I could during the knife phase, I could empty and give every every player one wound, which would be which would sound like a good idea. But the problem with that is, if I do that, I go across the line, which you know that the oh going going left is is good, right? But then if I have to go right again, I have to you know I'm going to suffer more morale. So I'm, I'm going to wait till I get a little further down when I do that. I'm not coming, I'm not getting healed up anytime soon. So, but unfortunately, if I don't do that soon, then I don't get the benefits of storing up to two food in the barrels and have them not expire, right? So, <clears throat> but I do have this protective amulet, right? So I can discard any kind of any token I want on the board, which I don't think I, I've ever had this card before. Normally, normally, right? If you if you drew true two treasures, one of them would be the gold, right? Which would be awesome and do nothing for you. <laughs> if you play Robinson, you know the car. It's a, it's the best treasure in the game. You just unfortunately you have nowhere to use it. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, we'll pull all the pawns back here. So you come back, and my carpenter. Where did my other carpenter pawn go? Did I lose it? Oh, there he is. All right. So we'll go pass the token to the carpenter. And if you remember, the carpenter, uh, the trap, uh, was it the trap? Oh, I forgot, forgot the shuffles back in. Um, yeah. So when I when I found that the that. The treasure in the trap, right? The shuffles back in and suffer consequences later. How could I? How could I forget? Okay, there we go. Um, and this card goes away. Yeah, it's a blow gun. That's what it was right here. So the blow gun, right? So next round you have one one pawn. So we'll put my carpenter on here. So I don't forget. Yeah, I have a couple biscuits left. I already have my two food for the day. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we'll have those next next round with our, our fish. So let's see here. So now we'll go to, over to round three. And so far, it's not too bad. We still haven't found the planes, right? We have we have to we need to explore out here and try to find the planes so we can get the ability to to get the rope. And then uh, build the nets, and then I can start sinking actions into finding pearls. I gotta find four pearls, and uh, you know, it can probably take more than four, more than uh, four pawns to get all those pearls. 
Um, so, okay, uh, let's move over to round three, event card. Strange marks. In the morning, you discover someone's footprints around the camp. Um, put a black marker on the island tiles stack. The first tile you draw will not give any discovery tokens. That's just plain mean, Ignacy. Watch it be like the river, and I have to draw three tokens. And they're like, oh, no, you can't. That's too bad. So, okay. So, also, if you notice, there's that green question mark. So, whenever I take the adventure action, but uh, explore action, I have to take, I have to do an adventure no matter what. Okay. So let's see here. And then black token. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a deck of, I have this bag, so we'll just have to, that'll help us indicate that. And then of course, your, th your threat from your previous event shifts down. And this one comes over. So if I don't resolve this one, then it's going to pop off. Uh, unless I, I have to resolve one of these, otherwise this one's going to pop off. So if I resolve this, it's gone, I don't have to worry about it, this will move over from the next card. But if I resolve this one, the next event comes down, and this won't pop over because there's no nothing pushing it over. Um, but <clears throat> So this is kind of nasty, right? So if I don't do this action, then my exploring is going to be a lot worse because I won't get discovery tokens. So that might be something to look into. Hopefully I can get all my pawns, because I've had two rounds with one less pawn. Um, um, so, okay, uh, so, so Monica's asking uh, what platform this is. This is actually a tabletop simulator. So you can actually play, I think, all the original scenarios on, on, table, uh, on Tabletopia. Um, and I think it's one to two players, and if you get the subscription, you can get th four, three or four players, I think is the case, or maybe it's certain scenarios. Um, um, yeah. So I'm into. It's pretty cool though. I was really impressed with their implementation. All right. So the carpenter had a round one. Had the first player took round one. Round two. Round three. So I guess I could maybe look into doing the. I mean, getting the snare might be pretty helpful. But I need the rope. So I got. I think it's exploring round. So let's let's do that. Um, so I'm gonna send Friday on his exploring mission because apparently Friday is the best explorer um, <clears throat> and oh wait a second no no Ben don't jump we're in the morale now face of zero so nothing happens there to wash um, production so remember I'm just getting a fish this time a banana fish if you call it And now we're actions. <clears throat> My explorer does have a lot of tokens, so I'm tempted to go exploring with an explorer here. I can I can do a reroll. Um, if this token goes away. That's right. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, it's a banana fish, Monica. Come on. See fish. And then I don't have a fish token, so I have a banana. Hence, banana fish. <laughs> yeah, so I really need to explore. I need to find um, the, the plains. I did find the mountains, so I need to mark those off. There's a lot to mark by yourself. Especially you on stream and try to look at chat and everything. So that's... Good If you haven't played Robinson, um, so there are, there are two of each tile in, in this bag, like tra tile like train types, and I think there might be three mountains. So in theory, if I do enough, I should be able to get um, enough planes. There there is enough tiles to fill the whole board, but I think one tile. So you're I think I think it's guaranteed to find the tiles. So, but the problem is it might be the very last tile could be the planes. So I'm going to be looking for these planes, and if it takes too long, I can't vent the rope. And then build the net, and then actually go um, pearl diving. So, uh, 
Okay, so let's see here. You know what? You're gonna go all exploring. And hmm. Is there an invention that might help help me out here? It would be nice to get the shovel and then try to build the pit, and then, you know, I got I have some I'll have food every round, and it also does help for events. So, yeah. If I hmm, but I also have the morale right. I, I keeps on going down, so maybe I I'll uh, spend the carpenter over here on that. And uh, we'll go ahead and we're going to go ahead and do the shovel. Shovel. Uh, if I'm exploring a lot, maybe the map would be helpful. But if I find the, the planes, like right away, then this wouldn't be very useful. Um, remember, we also have the event deck. So half the event cards are this the book icon. So if I have run into weather space... Uh, if I run into the book, I'm going to have to deal with the palisade being coming my way, right? So, having fire could, could if I did the fire out, I could at least stop some of that. Uh, if I get the, if I make the pot, then I could gain two wounds and the herbs. Uh, I get the medicine. And if I have excess food, which if I do hunting, I could use that to heal wounds, so... Uh, we're gonna go pot. We're gonna, we're gonna do pot. That sounds good. We already have two tokens. We might as well use them. Um, I'm sure it won't come back and, and haunt me later, right? Nah. <laughs> so okay. Um, so let's resolve. So I'm not gonna do this. Uh, I'm not hunting. We are building. So we're building the pot. And do I have tokens? I don't have any tokens, so. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Oh yeah, look at that roll. He must be, he must be learning how to build stuff on Friday. You know, because my, my, my carpenter is not competent to do that. So. Cool, all right, well, that was nice. Um, let's put that bad boy over. Now these, I can resolve them when I want. So um, with the pot, I can gain two wins whenever I want and then um, I'll just do the medicine right, because if I, uh, well, I guess technically this doesn't happen until all the event, all the, all the actions are taken right. So after the, because I could I could get an event that would require this, uh, the cure, but I technically can't do that yet. So, um, yeah, like I said, the yeah tropical ping, tropical penguins right. It's in the it's in the future. See, it's so hard to jump, jump on the gun right and do them by yourself. Chat's keeping me uh, on target, hopefully. Uh, so, all right. So next thing, we're not building anymore, but I'm exploring three times. So we'll do. We'll have my explorer down here. Do the first action. So then this will require. I'll have to do the adventure on that one. So let's do that. And actually, we have some powers here, right? Let's look at this. I have. I have five determination tokens here. Um, I could discard two, and then I can pull this up. There you go. And then draw three island tops from the stack. Look at them and choose one. And then shuffle other two. I can, put, I can look for planes and put it on top. That seems like a pro move. So we're, we're going to do that. So. So this one, this one. Not a single planes. Okay. Uh, so let's see here. Let's. Okay. Well, I do know the next when I explore right for my my uh, advanced thing. I I don't get the I don't get uh, the tokens. Um, and I'm exploring down here. 
I would like to have, huh, I could move my camp down here. So maybe this might not be bad. It's a tiki, right? So one of the tikis, I'd randomly do one of these. I've been doing just one and two. So I don't really want the tikis though, but this is pretty nice. So let's, let's put these two back in the bag. Oh. There we go. No, technically this is gonna go. Well, I guess technically this hasn't happened yet. All right, so yeah, put that there. I could fail my exploration, right? I can't really put it on top of the bag because I, there's a, I think it's just random when it goes in the bag. Okay. All right. So then, now we're gonna roll the dice. There we go. All right. Well, I guess I kind of need to roll the export die. Oh no. Okay. It was a good roll. You know, you saw it. Not. Like, don't tempt the dice. Don't anger the dice. There you go. That's what it was. All right. So I didn't have to roll the adventure because I'm already already doing the adventure anyways. You don't get two adventures. That'd just be painful. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this tile down. Oh, look at that! <laughs> we don't get the discovery token because um, the this cube from the event from the uh, event. But we do get a tiki, and so I need to randomize the number here. So let's go to randomize the number on. Uh, is there? I can do random at work, right? Let's just do that. Of course, as a gamer, I actually have a die on my desk. Um, go right, or go figure right. So right, one to f one, two, well, two, three to f three to six. I got the number five. All right, number five. Hey, reminder of the world beyond the sea. Look at that. That's a positive morale. See, there are good things that happen to Robinson. Not all of them are bad. <laughs> all right, so then that, we'll go down uh, here. I'll take my token off. And then we're going to have Friday go. Say tropical penguin. Thanks for the help catching me on my mistakes. All right. So Friday's gonna roll here. All right, he's a champ. So he's gonna take a one win because of the adventure, right? But he's got he's got some. He's tough. So okay, so Friday found something. Okay, so we found another tiki, and we actually get this discovery token, so let's do that. All right, plus one attack. All right. That's not bad. If you find some goats, we can um, use that on them. No, uh, send them to the farm, of course. No, I, would, I wouldn't kill a goat. I just happened to get food and um, uh, pelts. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, so there was a question, do we reach 100, 100 uh, watch? And we did like a few, few minutes ago, so people probably checked in real quick and jumped out and uh, other things they got to do. So yeah, we'll, we'll do a tutorial stream. It's going to happen. Um, it'd be nice maybe uh, to grab one of my other people on my, my team and we can kind of, um, because I know so, uh, other people on my team are not, are not they don't have as uh, much knowledge of the game, so they'll have a lot of questions anyways, so that could be kind of helpful to have that along. So, all right. Um, Tiki. Four, four, three, and six. Random.org, you're my friend. All right. So I rolled a six. And see, a beast has caught your scent. Add a, add a beast to the hunting deck. Okay, I got this nice 
fat deck for hunting here. Four cards. Oh, I just cheated, didn't I? Uh, I didn't really see it very well. So. Okay. Um, so that was Friday. You know, we still haven't found the plane yet. I mean, I, the planes. There's two in here. Uh, of the five, there are two in here. I, I... All right, Explorer, let's do this. You can make this happen. Oh. Get him. All right, well, let's take the Wound Explorer, and we'll do the event. All righty. During your trip throughout the woods, you see a lot of predators. So put a, plus a danger token on the tile you're exploring. If your exploration action wasn't successful, um, from the um, space you want to explore, it was successful. So next round, each time your player wants to gather resources on this tile or explore the space, um, you have to have that uh, at least one attack, otherwise you take a wound. Um, Aaron, I did not take a discovery token for the first uh, tile because of the event here. So I don't, I, I don't I've ever seen this card before, um, but all the times I've played. So basically, I. This cancels out any tokens I would gather from my from my first explorer. And if I don't do this eventually, it pops off the Ventrac, the next two tiles I explore. I'm gonna lose discovery tokens. Um, Alright, so put that token here. Hey, look at that! We finally found some planes and another tiki. Man, there's a lot of tiki's around here. So we do get a discovery token, so let's grab that. Oh, look at that, got some treasure. All right. Let's resolve that in a little bit. And let's see here. Right, so it's, I found the planes, so I can do the rope now and the cure, which I technically don't need to do that soon. Alright, so we found all the types, so we can build the nets next round. That's that's priority number one. Uh, okay. And so we also have the Tiki, alright? So we have numbers th three and four right now. So it's either going to be a mystery or minus one the hunting pearls action. That would, that would, I don't like number four. Uh, alright, so it's random.org that. So draw four mystery cards. I got a three, so let's just do that. Resolve only one beast and one treasure. So this is what I was talking about. Um, okay, let's do that. Hey, look at that. Cave of furs. The walls are covered with wolf and bear furs. You take those furs to your camp. All right. Oh, let's get rid of that. We'll just put two furs down. Now, I still have to resolve at least one beast, right? But if I draw four cards and I don't draw a beast, then I'm I lucked out. That won't happen, of course. But, all right, strange. That's number card number two. Number three. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at that. Not a single beast. Um, so that's nice. Back in the deck. Right. Of course, I could have just drawn a beast and not any treasures, right? So I got I got a little bit of luck there. That's that's nice. Right. So that is I, I was all exploring, and I did the tiki right, and then the discovery token, the adventure. Okay, and then we have my carpenter doing. Uh, he's a uh, what's, what's he doing? How he's, he's not just ranging camp. He's got to be doing, like dancing around or. Uh, 
doing something. All right, so let's see. Morale goes up by one, so. Back to two already. Look at that. Not bad, not bad. Looking, looking pretty good. Um, so we'll go to the night phase here. Uh, weather. All right, remember the weather? Well, we don't have any issue right now, and we don't have the die to roll, so we're good. So no, no badness from the weather. But we'll go to the night phase here. In the beginning of the night phase, you choose when you're going to move or not. I'm going to pop right over here. So now I can to produce wood and some food. That's going to be helpful. All right. So it's... I'm just taking all the stuff to come down, right? So let's... I got a lot of stuff to resolve here. So, all right. So plus one attack. I'm just going to do that now. So now I have one attack. Uh, I kind of forgot I had, I had an extra pawn for building, but my carpenter, um, well, I didn't need that right. Um, so let's get the cure from the pot here. All right, so if any poison stuff then come get me, we'll, we're all good. And I say it's treasure time. Let's do some treasure. Look at all those beasts. Look at that. Hey, candles. All right. In a small wrap bundle, you find two old candles. They let you work longer. Um, all right, so basically just, I get two extra workers for building. Um, that can't go by themselves, but the carpenter can basically use that to guarantee things. We're using one of those for the net, that's for sure. He's back in the deck. A lot of stuff going on here, don't I? Okay. Let's get. Do I have any extra brown pawns? Once I can copy them right, that's right. Cool. All right. Uh, I'm not seeing any new questions, so I'll keep on. Uh, let's, let's start the beginning of the phase here. Round four. Round four. Uh, half about halfway through. Uh, you really need to start doing some pearl diving here. Uh, what else? Did I miss anything? Reset. Oh, first player marker. Um, alrighty. Uh, let's see here. So we're about halfway through. Um, if there's any questions people have or anything, uh, pop them in the chat. I'll see if I can answer them. Uh, hopefully everything's kind of going pretty smoothly audio-wise. Um, I, I would imagine I'd probably hear some, see some stuff in the chat saying otherwise. Been going about a little, bit, a little more than an hour. Um, did I eat? Uh, I did not. You're right. I almost thought you were asking like if I physically ate something recently. It's like, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, I'm gonna eat that banana, and and then I'm gonna use um, one of my biscuits here. Okay. Well. Good call, chat. Good call. We'll just go on the next round and make this work. Um, this is my. We might be going full eight rounds here. I think at this point. Uh, right, eighth round. I have to. Um, I'm going to offer the spirits. So the seventh round, I have to have all the pearls uh, to build it. So I have to have. I'm gonna have two two full rounds to build to get pearls. I'm gonna get the net now on uh, this round. So maybe I prepare like extra food or something for the five and six. Well, I guess I have extra food really. Basically, be prepared for so the five and six round if I can just spend all my all my pawns and just gather as many um, pearls as I can. And if that doesn't work, then I'm probably just dead. So yeah, whatever. Right, net. Gonna need the net for the rope. 
Um, the shucky knife would be helpful to save me some wounds, but I don't have uh, a mount. I don't have uh, I don't have a belt yet. I don't see myself building it anytime soon. So that's the plan, right? So do the offering here, building uh, the pearls here. There was actual, and then two. I need two black and two uh, white pearls, and I guess the blue ones. They're just. I don't think I actually tell you what they are. They're just, uh... Oh, you turn, you turn them back to the bag. So, yeah, make it harder. Um... <laughs> yeah. Uh, alright, so then... Yeah, I basically have two rounds to get. So we're gonna try to do some preparation this round and build the net. So, uh, alright. We'll go down to the event phase. But this is actually the first round, I think... Yeah, actually, okay, so... Let's look at this. Predator is near. You either share your food source sources with the predator or you fight for them. There is no other way. The closest parrot can't tell if possible. It's exhausted. There's no parrot. Each player suffers a wound. Right. Oh, look at that. Right in our camp tile. Great. So, we're not producing parrots. Pro producing food on this tile today. And I can uncover it, though. So that might be an option. Unfortunately, it's going to bump off this one here. Um, and the first player this round cannot use a term, his, special, their, his or her special determination skills. Explorer has two tokens. Unfortunately, I'm getting more. So that's, that's kind of annoying, right? So pop that on the card there. Okay. And then this comes over. Pops down here. So remember this one here. If this one comes off next round, then I won't be gathering discovery tokens when I explore. But I think I might be okay with that because I don't tend to explore um, right away. I have to explore at least once before the game ends so I can go. So this, this is the marker where I have to go at the end. Um, yeah, so that's. <clears throat> all right. Uh, all right. So we did the event. Got morale. So, first player would be here. Oh, don't copy the board. There we go. All right. Call those tokens I can't use. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, good production. I would get a food, but remember the parrots from the event. So, I'm just going to get myself a wood. So we're going to go down to actions. Uh, so let's do this. So like I said, the carpenter, I'm going to take the carpenter over here and get, what's oh, right, it's on the card here, with one of the candles from this action. Okay. So that's going to guarantee the net. So I, I pretty much have to do that, right? Because otherwise I could just lose if I don't guarantee that. <clears throat> and... I don't have any kind of food source right now, so I'm tempted to go hunting because I have all these animals here. So, we'll send the explorer along. You know, actually, you're right. I don't actually have the rope, do I? Yeah. You're right, Wim. I do not have the rope. <laughs> oh, this is going to be close. <laughs> okay. Never mind. We'll get the get the rope. Yeah, that's not good. I'm gonna have to all next rounds meet all my pawns. I'm just gonna have to just send everything and just take wounds for whatever and skip the event and uh, and I think you can only all right. If you send three pawns, you can get four random markers from the death bag. So in theory, if I only have one shot, I could I could get it. Um. That's gonna be rough. That's gonna be rough. This doesn't look very good. Um, you can watch me uh, either cut it really close or, 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 or um, die because I couldn't make pearls, you know, that pearl necklace. Whew. All right, so I'm gonna take a spore where to go hunting. And I'm just gonna go ahead and spend both charges on my empty bottle here. So I have three attack. That should 
cover most beasts, I think. And so now I'm gambling if the beast is actually be good for food, right? If it's not, then um, I have a biscuit, right? I have a single biscuit. Uh, yeah, that's rough. And I do have Friday, and I do have a carpenter. I can do another candle, right? So let's see here. Okay, so I can I can use the two pawns from here, and I also have one from my earlier discovery. And I do have to explore this location at some point, so maybe maybe it's worthwhile to do now. Because then an explorer can't use their tokens, then maybe it, yeah, maybe the carpenter. Uh, do I have Friday to do that? Go for a Friday. You got this. What about trap? Oh, this trap here, the blow gun. Yeah, this already happened, so I just I gotta move that way. You're right. Um, I do have my protective amulet. Would that be useful anywhere? To remove a token from the board. Oh. We're gonna use this, and we're gonna we're gonna uh, say I remembered this before production phase. Yeah, we'll do that. So we're gonna use a protective amulet to remove this token. So then I can get the food. Every bit helps. So the Gothic butterfly. Why do you have to explore that location? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I'm under the impression this guy could be wrong on this one, but you can't take an action on a tile unless it's a, uh, it's unexplored. Unless it's like I couldn't like go here, right? Because there's nothing there's nothing on this tile, um, so I don't know what's there. So I have to explore action to put a tile down, and then I could do actions on the said tile. Uh, this marker does the marker just indicates that that's where I need to go. Um, I could be wrong on that one, but I'm pretty sure that's that's correct. Um, it would make sense, right, if I have to go deliver these pearls and do some kind of ritual uh, offering. That would, might, might have to know the location, at least know where to go. You know, you're exploring around, you got to try to find, oh, uh, where's the altar, or where's the the place I'd throw it into the ocean, you know, something like that. Um, okay. Yeah. So and, and for camps, and my camp's not there. I have to spend extra action, extra pawns to to get the, to do the distance requirement, right? So if I was my camp was here, and I did the action here, I'd have, to, I'd have to do at least the two pawns to do the action plus one extra one per distance. So if I had a camp here, I have to be one, one, and then two. So it'd be four. Um, if you play First Martians, it's, uh, that that concept happens a lot more in that game. All right, so one more pawn, right? So is there, is there something over here that could be helpful? I don't have the shovel. Um, diary is not so important right now. Um, drums could be helpful, but I don't think I need that right now. Yeah, that's right, Gothic. You got it. Um, yeah, it's just where the actual special action is. This is rough. I'm tempted to build the bricks. Because if I take any wounds from... Actually, uh, I forgot about this. Uh, the book, right? The book token there indicates I have to have... On the weather space, so I know I'm gonna lose a palisade no matter what I do. So if I build the bricks, I can at least guarantee I'm not gonna take a wound. So let's go ahead and do. I guarantee that because I have a feeling I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a good number of wounds next round. <clears throat> if I don't have any extra food, then that could be bad. And so here's the barrel. Remember the barrel? So I'm hoping I can maybe get some extra food and store it in here. Um, so I, um, so during the night phase, I'll use this to heal myself up. Oh, that's true. 
Uh, yeah. The goth that you're talking about, you know, it's paying an extra guy with Friday. Unfortunately, they won't be able to do this action, though. The dam is a possibility. I just know I'm, I'm going to prevent a wound here. And I'm, I think I'm at the point now I kind of have to gamble that there'll be some decent food here. Uh, probably a tiger uh, or the gorilla or the bear. You know, one of the three. Uh, the holy trinity of death. You know, the, of, of the animals on the island. <laughs> um, I guess maybe it's the trinity of death. There, that sounds better. Uh, and I do have spare food I, I, from my, my biscuits, so I, I'm, I'm going to gamble. I'm going to make this work. Um, Alright, so let's do some hunting. Alright, Explorer. You got a broken bottle. You got a broken glass bottle. What are you going to run into? Alright. Oh, nope. Wrong side. I draw the card. Death is inevitable. Come on, I, I can do this. Oh, look at the puma. Oh, look at that. Um, well, that's not great. That's not the worst result. <clears throat> so let's see here. Um, it has a strength of five, and I have a strength of three. So I'm gonna take two wounds right away. Boom, boom. I get two food though, and, and the pelt. And remember, I built a cure from the discovery token. So I don't take two wounds from from that. So, all right, got rid of the puma, um, and I get two food and a pelt. All right. So next thing, uh, hunting's done, building. So these just resolve, and I don't have to roll them at all. And my lovely candles go away. But I now have the rope, and I have this extra candle for guaranteeing the net next round. So let's see here. Like that. I got the bricks. Took this off here. So I got my palisade of one. I forgot the puma. All right, and the puma didn't damage my weapon, so we're good. We're good. So we're building. We haven't done, we haven't done a single gather action yet, uh, and now we're doing the explore. So I have Mr. Friday here, and that over. Come on, Friday, you are the explorer. I need you to make this happen. Come on, oh, roll, 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 roll. And they just kind of look at that kind of one coming up. All right, well, that's kind of a weird interaction on the tabletop simulator. <laughs> I've never seen the dice do that before. Usually they kind of... I don't know. All right, well, um, Friday's taking two wounds. Oof. The wound and then the adventure. Sorry, Friday. But we get a... All right, so we're going to the mountains to do our... our um, to do our offering. And we'll get a discovery token from that. Hopefully it's some good. Found some wood. That's not, not the best, but we will take it. And there's another beast. So oh, oh. Okay. And I keep on hitting the flip button so that the Flip is R and uh, flip is F and shuffling is R and I keep on missing it. Um, okay, so that's that's all the actions and keep that sort of mind of that. Remember the weather phase. So storm token knocks down a palisade by one. Well, oh, now it's at zero again. So we put some bricks up and they got knocked down. Uh, the storm was like it was mean. I was playing blocks with my bricks, and the storm came by and just kicked him over. What a bully! Um, okay, so 
Next, we have the night phase. So let's use this, use this barrel. So keep this card. Once per night phase, he, each player can heal a wound. So let's do that. Uh, that's not, well, let's do it. I don't want to go across the line here. I was hoping the carpenter would take some more wounds. Apparently, that's not happening. Because um, I guaranteed all, all my actions. But the reason I'm doing that is so I can use this barrel now. You can store up to two food on this card. This food does not rot, uh, does not rot during the night phase. I was hoping it got more food. So if you see, all this stuff will come down. And I have three bananas. So I'm going to eat two of them, one per character. But I have an extra one. Um, I'm going to... That will basically be stored uh, in my barrel here. So I'll save a, save a food. And I have an extra food for my biscuits. And I'll be generating an extra food um, around every, from this location now. So that's uh, I got the food handle. Um, so that is is that, only, is that round four? Ugh. <laughs> we will go on to a night phase. So everybody ate. I have shelter. I'm not moving my camp. We'll go here. So we're going to have a beast from now on. So I, I usually put a die in the box, so I always remember. Um, do you know what is the rating of the scenario in terms of length and difficulty? Uh, considering it's eight rounds, it gets kind of like medium, like short to medium duration. Here, let's put this banana in the barrel so I don't forget. Um, like the Swiss Family Robinson is like 12 uh, rounds, and that's a bit longer. And even the first scenario was like 10 rounds, and that's a bit longer. Um, I actually don't recommend that one being like if you're just trying to win the game, the easier, easier one to learn, I think, is the second scenario, the Cursed Island. The first one's more epic, right? Because it's like you're stuck on the island, it's it, it's like the quintessential scenario. But um, if you want something that's quicker and uh, you also can, you know, it also shows you how the uh, book event works um, on, on the on the uh, on the action on the event cards because normally, right, they in the first scenario they don't do anything. To kind of more it's actually beneficial and draw that because it does nothing um okay so we did that around five first player marker moves up so let's start oh yeah this is a uh i have, I have a good question for everybody here so um i'm in the comments uh, on the the pledge manager and if you haven't done that if you haven't gone the the the, the game found project you should go look, go do it and check it out, um, and uh, I think it's going for a few more days. Um, there's a lot of different levels, so you can pick one. Maybe you can always add things after the campaign's over. Um, just, uh, that's usually how game. I think it's kind of how game found works for the most part now. Uh, let's see here. But yeah, so in the comments, I, I am actually uh, Dr. Robinson um, and Paul from our streaming group. He called me that like off the cuff sometime and I was like that sounds good and so I just so you'll see me in the comments I, I will sometimes answer things there's a lot of comments which is just fantastic um, and I've joked on Ignazi's stream he did on, does on Mondays that we should have a, a an Ignazi character and miniature and he's like no 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 I don't want to die on the island with you I think he should die on the island with us and I think we should come up with a character if he's not gonna do it the community should come up with a character um, he's not watching now, so um, <laughs> if you have any ideas for four action abilities for Ignazi on the island, come up. Uh, let me know. Uh, put them in the put them in the chat. Uh, you can put them in the comments of the uh, the campaign. Uh, maybe you can use the hashtag Ignazi should be a character should be a character. <laughs> uh, I think it'd be really cool, even if it's just like you know a uh, print and play thing. So like uh, you know he's the CEO, so maybe like there's a way to. To decrease some of the morale in order to get more work out of out of your your pawn, out of your your characters or something, or maybe there's something to do with, like a cookie stash, so Ignacy doesn't have to eat because he has a cookie stash somewhere. Uh. <laughs> yeah, and it's right, uh, Kamraski. Uh, Ignacy has died every stream, I think, of Robinson, and with the Dice Tower, he is they've died miserably with it with his help. <laughs> but 
uh, Chevy Dodd, the champ, the champ of the, uh, um, they play at the World Cup soccer game at Gen Con every year, and he's been the champ uh, two years in a row, and of course with COVID it didn't happen. So he's still the reigning champ. Anyway, he's kind of, you know, put that to Ignacy because he, he hasn't won yet, and he's been doing it for a while. <laughs> um, yeah, good times. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so come up with some ideas uh, in the chat, and we'll, I'll, I'll see if I can bug Ignacy with them and make it happen. That'd be fun. Uh, okay, cool. Let's go back to this nice little break. Um, make sure to check out the Game Found page and pledge, um, and check out the updates every every day. There's always cool thing, cool, cool new things being added, like the first one, the camp. How sweet is that camp? Uh, I'm almost afraid to paint it. Like I want to paint it, but. I almost want to get a second one so I can paint it and not have to worry about destroying them. But if there's a sun drop, which I hope, I think I think might happen. I, I have no inside knowledge of that, but I think Ignacy wants that. So, and we'll, we'll see. All right. Um, let's go to the morale phase. And first player is the carpenter here. So I got my two tokens. Uh, okay. Oh, and I did not even do the event, did I? Didn't even do the event. All right. See, jumping ahead of myself. All right. Mystery wait. Something calls uh, to you from the dark reaches of the island. Randomly choose one of the three of of three and place it face down on the on the exploration field. What's that token? Did I read that right? Have I not seen this card before? Ram, we choose one of the three and place it face down on the exploration field. Does anyone know what this token is? I feel like I should know this. Yeah, it kind of looks familiar, but I don't actually know what that is. These top bags, these are, these are just for the scenarios. Could be one of the, well, could be one of the action pawns, maybe, like one of the extra bonus action pawns. No, it's not for the scenario. All right, this is just this is actually one of the basic um, cards. I'm, I guess. Um, is this a promo one? Like, I actually don't know what this is. Uh, I feel like I, I really should know this, but I don't. Um, so I'm just gonna cheat. Uh, looks like Chad has no idea either. Uh, I'm just gonna draw another card. So you, you didn't see this? Didn't happen. Yep. All right, blood marks. You find parts of a dead animal near the camp. If possible, discard the top card from the hunting deck to get uh, one pelt, one food. Uh, yeah, we're doing that. Awesome, a beagle expansion. Oh, you're right, it is, Raphael. That is a beagle expansion token. That's why I don't remember it, because I, I haven't played that in a long time. So why is that in the deck? Uh, I, I, I mean, I guess it's uh, whoever created the tabletop. Uh, this uh, there's like multiple different versions of Robinson Crusoe on uh, tabletop simulator, so maybe uh, I don't know. That's a, uh, I didn't, I just kind of grabbed um, a bunch of cards from the deck here, so they probably just have them filtered in there. So all right, good call. Uh, all right, so discard the top card from the honey deck and get one pelt and one food. You're on right, we're doing that. Sweet. Um, all right. Uh, unfortunately, bad things can happen here. So this is going to come off. So I put uh, two to two of the black tokens on the island stack. So if 
I, if I explore, I won't get any discovery tokens. So we're just going to put that over here, put two tokens. So the next two explorers, I don't get tokens. I don't think I'm exploring anymore. Yeah. Yep, it was definitely, um, that symbol was definitely Forge of the Beagle. Good call, people. Uh, all right, so this goes, smooth over. This goes over that. I did the morale earlier. Um, okay, I jumped ahead. Production, all right, so we're here, so I'm gonna get a wood and a food. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have here. We have another candle. Uh, way to get two more wounds. Actually, that's that's actually not bad. And then, of course, I think the shucking knife, which I can't build and probably won't. Actions. All right. So, like I discussed earlier, I'm definitely going to be taking turning this token into a candle, and we're going to go ahead and build the net with the carpenter. Actually, technically, you know, let's let's do it with uh, explorer. Yeah. I don't want to take any, I don't want explorer to take any more wounds, so that's an easy one. And then Friday. Well, Friday's almost dead too. Um, Friday will build the net. And then the explorer, you know, let's, we'll go ahead and spin this to get my explorer two more wounds. There you go. Okay. There we go. Right. So the next round, right? So once I have, oh, good call, question mark. Yep. All right, so the question mark that indicates. Whenever I take a build action, I have, I have to have an invention no matter what. Oh, great. Well, that's, that's the problem, because if I have an adventure with Friday, he dies, because he can't do adventures. He just takes a wound. Okay, uh, I'm, I guess I'm building something. Is this so... Well... God. Nice try, Friday. We, uh, we, uh, we'll, have, we'll have another task for you here. Mm. Yeah, Friday can be healed. I can heal him with other stuff. I could take a rest action with him, but I'm not doing that. We're here. All right. So we, at this point, we know that I can't do the pearl dive. I can't even even do the pearl dive action yet. Starting round six, I can do the pearl diving action. It took me so long to get the planes, even though I was, I was I felt like I was, I was exploring a lot. I even used tokens to help me find the planes tile and still couldn't find it. Um, so, so next round I have to send all my pawns and take the explore action, uh, the hunting for pearls action. And I believe I can take it multiple times if I, if I want. I could do multiple groups. So I'm tempted to send all five pawns to just do it. And in that, in that case I would be able to draw six tokens from the bag. And if I survive that, the roof. I see Gothic Butterfly. You're saying build the shucking knife and the roof. I think I. So the problem is I can't build the shucking knife because I don't have a knife. And the roof wouldn't be helpful because I'm not really having any kind of weather problems right now. Like I'm not going to get. I just have to worry about animals. So I'm tempted this to build a palisade, right? Um, and I can just do that with a pelt. And let's see here. Maybe I call my carpenter can go do that. We'll, re we'll risk that a little bit. And then. Uh, so I have, food, I have food production of one. So I have enough food tonight, and I ha I'll have enough food um, for my barrel and for my biscuits. So I'm good for two, two, two days in a row, I'm good. Uh, for two rounds. So I don't think hunting is a good idea right now. But, and what about this? Okay, I'll think, okay. Yeah, definitely Palisade. I think I'm almost, I'm almost tempted to to put, well, we, we also have, potentially have animals coming, right? So uh, if, you have no, if you know the red dye, right, um, the sides. Who's a palisade? Um, come on. 
There's some blanks. There is the hunting. They get attacked by ammo level three. We have level three up three weapons, so we're good. And then one side's like who's a banana? Who's a who's a food? So that could hurt. Maybe. And, it's, and unfortunately there's no way to deploy any more tokens other than just getting more more pawn to this action. So there's like no re-rolls or anything or re re-pulls. That could be kind of cool. Spend termination tokens to keep on to draw an extra to extra token or something. Or a re re repull one. Um, but unfortunately that's not part of it, at least not yet. Uh, oh. Let's see here. So if I don't do this, then then we're definitely getting into adventures during the exploring and gathering. That's not so bad. I mean, this this could kind of be annoying, right? Because then uh, I would take people taking wounds, but I'm also not worried about that either. We're kind of a weird situation right now where I just need to do really well next round and not suffer so bad now. So let's got termination tokens. Oh, this is tough. Well, let's let's do a gather on the fish here. Just have extra food if I have to lose a banana, uh, lose a food from the beast. And I'm not going hunting. This is. Guess what's the best way to make myself happy here? If I did the dam now, that I, I would, I could pretty much guarantee I'd have food the rest of the game. Do I just do a guarantee? I could do, I could do the fire, right? Uh, well, if I build the knife now, right? Then I won't actually be I won't be able to build a shucking knife this, uh, the same round. Like I have to do all my pearl diving next round, so I won't have time to build that and then build a shucking knife. I have to do all of it. Um, okay, I'm gonna I think this is good. So we're, we're gonna get some food from the dam. So let's guaranteeing that. I'm trying to. I'm gonna to try to get an extra palisade twice, and I have the carpenter with the reroll. So I, that's me failing that or lower. So I'll make this work. So not doing this. Okay, building action. I'm gonna have mm, the build event happen to Mike's. What we'll do, we'll do this first? So that's a guaranteed success. So I ha actually have the net. Oh, and I guess another perk, right, for the uh, the, the project, there's the stretch goal. You're going to get all these as cards. They're actually just be on the sheet. Now you'll actually have cards to put down. And you could probably just put them on your board here, like in the bottom corner, so you know they're they're special. So that's kind of nice, because I've had where I actually printed out a bunch of cards like on, on Board Game Geek's file section. Uh, but actually, then and I'm just not using them at all. But I think if I actually had actual nice cards, I would probably use them. So... Let's go ahead and, so I have a net, and I have, so I can, let's go ahead and indicate that here. Put a heart. Yay, we have the net. Nice heart. We have it. <laughs> um, and that, so we'll do the adventure there. This is my explorer doing that, so let's flip it. All right, you have cut your head and, and are angry. Uh, take a wound and two morale tokens, uh, two determination tokens, uh, and put that in your head. Okay. That probably goes in the event, event, the event deck. That probably won't come come back and get us. Probably. My poor head. I got a viper bite on my head, and I hit it, hit it against something, and I get two more of these tokens. Yeah, that's right. There won't be a new rule book. Uh, hey, Ignazi. Um, it's the rule book is pretty. It's 
I, I think it's pretty fantastic. Paul Grogan did a number on it, so um, it might be the best rulebook you can get. The, the Z-Man rulebook was was pretty terrible, and it, it actually was a much of a chore to learn it. Um, and if the new rule, with the current rulebook, and if if you get the open and open play um, uh, campaign, right? If you do the, the the level that gives you that, then then you're probably pretty solid. You'll you'll get to you'll get to use this uh, can, uh, the campaign and learn the game. Then you can reference things in the rule book, and you'll eventually get it all memorized and be able to look it up easier. Um, yeah, William, it was it was actually which was this. Uh, I kind of forgot about this. Did this happen? Yeah, I think this, this is not. I forgot to get rid of that. Yeah, so Mike Spore was actually taking the net action, building the net. So that was the pun on top, and then I use a candle below. So I did that because uh, Mike Spore has not going to fall over um, back over the arrow. My carpenter will. So it's a little little, little tip there to. To play with that. Um, okay, so we did that. Next build, I remember I guarantee the build for with Friday, the dam. So we're gonna get two bread for that. That would go the way. So just throw up here. And then I have the two other builds, right? Uh, yeah, Stefan, that, that, that rule book you're referencing, the PDF, that actually is on the portal website. I think it's actually even on the Board Game Geek file section. Um, yeah, that's, that's already out. So you can look at that right now. Uh, let's see here. All right, so we, let's do the next two builds. So let's do... I'm building the fire. All right, so let's build that and roll the dice. Come on, explore. All right, we built it, but now we have an, another adventure. Are you serious? All right, windstorm. <laughs> wind, wind rages along the camp, throwing everything around. Really? Look at that. Um, I guess technically I built the card. I, I guess I, I I would choose the order here. I would I would do the palisade first because I already built it, and that would suffer the consequence. Well, no, I don't actually have the fire yet, do I? Um, yeah. All right. Well, um, everyone takes a wound because I don't have a palisade. And then the fire happens. So technically, you know, I don't technically have power idea. It would be at the end of the round I would get it. So if there's another negative thing, that would I would suffer that as well. Um, all right. But the benefits here, if it if it does get back to the event deck, I get I'll get plus one later. So that's that's kind of nice. So and the deck is getting smaller. Next, we have my, my carpenter buddy here, and we're building the palisade. All right, not not that great. Well, I can I can do a reroll here if I want. Um, oh, now that's two at least. Throw that over here. Okay. I have the token, the might as well re-roll, right? I have, I have plenty of tokens. So what's what's a re-roll one's dice? Obviously we're not gonna re-roll the success die. But we can either take one last wound. I, I think wound-wise I'm probably okay. I don't have I don't know if I want another uh, event. Another adventure. So let's let's re-roll that one. Sweet, that that worked out. All right. 
Okay. Now I have two Palisade. I'm good. I'm good if these animals attack. If I get any more storms. And that's all my actions, right? So that's the end of that round. We'll go down to weather. Oh, that's right. I gotta roll the die here. All right, let's do it. All right, nothing. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Okay. Night phase. Uh, I'm not gonna move. I'm gonna stay here. And I have to eat food. So I'll eat my two bananas first. And I have my two bread. And remember, I still have my banana in the barrel. So that's gonna that's technically a, a bread. It's not gonna go away. And I still have one biscuit left. So I'm, I'm good food wise. And this, this is the round that matters because if I don't get the pearls this round, I, we're, we're just done. Um, and of course, everyone ate food. I have shelter. Top of the round. Round six. The round that matters. So, all right, this is going to be. Uh, a pretty easy uh, action phase if I when I get there. So I'm just just stacking them up here. Where's Friday? Here's Friday. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's do the event. Oh, look at that top card. Look what is that? All right, epidemic. How fitting. I've had vipers and disease and stuff hit me. You suffer from the disease that killed the village inhabitants. That we remember we there was a village with a treasure in it. Well, now I brought back something to our camp. Uh, so each player suffers a wound. I'm gonna draw another card. Friday's immune to that, so don't worry about that. He's he's good. Friday's Friday's the man. All right. In the middle of the night, a huge branch. It's the camp. Of course it does. Um, so we'll put that token back on. Where'd that token go? There it is. All right. So unfortunately, our roof for Palisade goes down, and we don't have a roof. Uh, so I'm going to take Palisade down by one. And if you don't fix it, it gets worse. But this is going to pop off. Um, and that means that any action we take is any gather, exploring, or building there could be an adventure no matter what. So, all right. Put those on top. Put those in a gate. Get rid of that card. Now shift down. This comes down here. Remember the next one that comes, if this comes off, I'm just going to suffer a wound. That's not so bad. I mean, we'll see how bad the pearl pearl diving goes, but <clears throat> okay. Then we'll go down up here. Oh uh, yeah, morale. We need morale. So I get one token for first player, and I believe that is the explorer, right? Because even number all over my board. Gather so I can get a, a pair in the wood. Banana parrot, by the way. You have banana fish, you have banana parrot. Mm, all right, so the next the production. All right, number four. So that's that's the big action phase here. So yeah, so we're gonna do this. So, what is the difference to send two tokens to hunt? Basically, that just means you have to use two two tokens to hunt. You can't just spend one token and roll the dice because there's no hunting dice. I gotta view it as you need enough people to carry back your haul, or you have to have like one person tricking the animal and the other person kind of actually doing the damage. Make up your own reasoning, right? Um, Okay, well, so we're not doing any other action but the pearl diving, because if this doesn't work, we're, we're done. So I'm going to do this action twice. And I don't want Friday dying, so he's going to be on the bottom. And we're, so he's going to be supporting, right? Um, oh. No, 
All right, so my explorer's gonna do the action and then with his other pawn, and I'm gonna have Fry down there supporting. So I have two supporting pawns, which will make him get the, I'll be able to go down deeper. And then these two here, uh, and they'll be able to do the moderate. And I don't see, I don't think there's a restriction here in order to do one of these around. So I'm gonna do it twice and I'm gonna draw six pearls and hopefully I get four of the one, four that I need. If I don't, <laughs> cannot win. Um, and we can make that a detective scenario. If you, if you saw that, our, one of our, our, our launch stream, we had those detective scenarios of how did this game end? I thought, I thought that was fun. Um, I want to see a book of those. That'd be, that'd be like a good like a puzzle book. Uh, that's a good question, Efrain. Um, you're not going to really stack them. There'll be the leading pawn will have a little uh, thing on your base. If you ever use anything from Waking Realms, Realms they have it was, um, be, like a little plastic ring that goes around it, and it just indicates, hey, that's the leading pawn, and then you can put the other ones next to it. That doesn't matter if you're the second pawn or the third pawn, as long as you have the leading pawn and then supporting pawns. Okay, so let's let's do the um, let's do the big one here. Uh, and so I'm not gonna do any of these actions. And the sheet tells me that it happens. The actions I resolve are at the after the rest action here. So according to this. And three, I have to roll all three of the dice and take four random markers from the death's bag. If they're two black and two two white, it'd be perfect. Uh, <laughs> uh, boy, this is gonna be this is gonna be a challenge. So let's do. Oh, don't don't do that. Don't anchor the game. We'll do my first stack here. Wish I had a drum roll. I could I could uh, add to the. I need to should have thought of ahead of time. And we'll shuffle the bag. Are pearls important for the end game? So if you if you actually just didn't join us earlier, I'll, I'll we'll go over it again real quick. So in order to win the game, I have to take an official action, uh, offering uh, to the spirits, and I have to do it on this tile where this token's at. So I have to perform the action there. But in order to have do that, I have to have the pearl necklace. The pearl necklace requires two black pearls and two white pearls and the and the rope, All right? But I can't get the pearls. Until I get the until I can build the net, and the net allows me to take this action from now on. However, I can't do the net, can't get the net unless I get the rope. So I see this chain of events here. <laughs> in order to get the rope, I have to find the planes. There's only two tiles in the entire stack of of, uh, um, of all the exploration tiles, and then when I find this terrain type, then I can build the rope. And then the following round, I can build the net. And then, and then I can use the action to get the pearls, then build the, build the necklace, and then take the action to win the game. So I, in order, if I do this action, I win the game. So there's a lot of steps, but they're not that all complicated, right? There's just, you can actually, you might actually, when you get this, just draw it, I should have just wrote it down. Like here, this is a, at the beginning, I was trying to say, hey, I have to do, the offering of the spirits round eight, and then round seven I have to at least build the pearls, and then six, four, five, six I would um, find the pearls. Unfortunately, the planes didn't show up, and I tried using actions from my explorer to to find tiles. Um, so like here, you can discard two tokens or draw three tiles from the bag, uh, from the tile deck or whatever it's called, and and put one on top. Well, unfortunately, when I did that. I didn't draw any planes, so. <laughs> Um, yeah, so a, a little rough, but it's okay. We'll just we'll just draw enough pearls here, and 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 we'll be good. All right, there we go. Here's the first draw. Looking good. Um, Taking I should roll the dice first, but this is more exciting. <laughs> Ugh, a blue one. That's not good. Um, doesn't do anything. There we go. Two white pearls. That's good. Good. So in the bag is five white pearls, five blue pearls, and five black pearls. Um, it's five of each, right? And imagine if you're playing an easier difficulty or a harder difficulty, you could change like the number, right? Um, so once this action is done, I'm gonna put all the blue ones back in. So technically, the bag will be be worse. Um, so you could maybe not do that at all if you're playing an easier difficulty. So like, I'm sure I'm sure the different difficulty settings are thinking of. And that's 
that's some of the polish, right? So it'll probably be like, I think it's like three difficulty settings. Like it was like easy, medium, and like you're gonna die difficulty. I think that was <laughs> aptly named, right? So, all right, I'm gonna draw, um, that's not part of it. One more. Ah, okay. Well, I got two white pearls. Yeah, okay. I go back in the bag. This doesn't look very good. <laughs> I go roll the wound eye for these, for that action. All right, that's two wounds. So the person taking the action would take two wounds. And that is my explorer. Pretty close to death. Um, okay, and now with my two pawns here, I'm gonna roll the two, these two dice and take two random markers from the dust bag. They have to be black pearls for me to win. If I don't draw any black pearls, I lose. If I draw a white pearl, I lose. So the odds are, um, yeah, that's not looking good. So what die was that? That's the green and brown. So if you know this, but the brown die is the most painful die, and I believe green's less, it has the least number of, has second least, and the gather has only one side. I think it's like two or three on this, two on this one, maybe three or four on this, this one. So it's actually to your benefit to send more pawns at once than, than to send one or two. All right, look at that. No wounds. That, that's 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 good, right? That means that means it's gonna be good good bag pulls here. Shuffle them up. So there's 13 in the bag. So the three white ones, um, five black and five blue. So if you can do the math real quick, you can see the odds. But here we go. Ah, and we lost. Oh, are you serious? I got one black pearl. What will be the next one? How about the next one? How about the next one? Okay. So, uh, at this point, I can pretty much consider myself dead. And I'll, I'll explain why that's the case. So, um, remember, I only got one black pearl. In order to, so next round, I, I'd have to, I, I would do this round, I would finish this round out. And then I would do the pearl necklace, I would build it. I would guarantee you build it with a couple bonds. Um, <laughs> house rolls, delete the blue blue cube. <laughs> Unfortunately, everyone's. I have 67 plus people watching. I, I can't. That's like cheating, man. That is so cheating. Uh, but we'll go through how the actions work, right? Um, and it's it's been. I've been running homes two hours, so. Uh, so basically, so that'd be round. This is round six. So then round seven, I could build the pearls, right? So that's a simple haze. I just put two pawns in the action and do it. Uh, and then, you know, that was round seven. And then round eight, I would I would take this action, right? So either I'd have to move my camp closer, like the, the previous the, like round seven uh, night phase, or I could send the two pawns that, re that are required by the event, right? One, two. I guess that's the action, that event. And then one for the distance, because my camp is here. If my camp was way back here, I could add additional two pawns, right? So one for this spot here and one for here. That'd be five pawns. So you don't technically have to be on the tile to do it. Um, and in my case, it probably wasn't beneficial to do so, just because I get production, right? Oh. Um, yeah. So in theory, if I did all that, I would win. But unfortunately, in this case, the island has decided to deny me one black pearl, and I have lost the game. So that is pearl diving. Um, and I think this is pretty close to final form. So there's a couple things I wanted to ask Joanna. And um, I'm assuming I can do this action more than once in one round. I think that's pretty standard. And unless it says otherwise, I think you can. Um, I forgot that this these are random. I just, kept, I just did one, two, three, four. Um, I could have rolled that right, could have happened, that could have just been ordering. Um, let's see here. Oh, and I guess the, the game wouldn't technically end 
until the end of night phase. So if I somehow died in the weather phase, I would still lose. So you have to, you have to have, you have to be somewhat alive before you can, um, when you finish the last round, right? Some some games, some round, some scenarios, you can just win immediately. Like castaways, if you do that, you automatically win the game. If you complete the, the pile of wood and get the fire, and you're within round, was it seven to nine? I think that's, yeah. <clears throat> or seven, eight, eight to twelve, something like I don't remember. Um, let's see here. I think there's anything. Is there any other questions people have? I mean, you saw me die on the island. You kind of expected that, right? I didn't. I didn't hear any any bets on that, so but I didn't see any bets. But if you have any questions about the scenario or any questions that you think I can help you help answer, like uh, rules questions. Uh, Anything about the game found uh, project? Ignacy's here, so maybe you'd still answer. Um, I have to give I have to give Ignacy props. I'm I'm pretty sure he's he's staying up till midnight a lot of nights answering questions on on the comments section, and that that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if a lot of creators would do that. Replay? <laughs> you want me to play this again? <laughs> I mean. Oh, good question. Uh, can we play it on Tabletop Simulator any, any sooner than the game is out? Uh, I don't know. That's, that's, a, that's a good question for Ignacy and his team. I think some of them, I guess we haven't really, I mean, they're just PDFs, right? So technically you could get a PDF and, and you could load it in Tabletop Simulator your own. But the, the Tabletop Simulator has, um, you, you could just download it in, in Tabletop Simulator, the the extension to get uh, uh, Robinson Crusoe, and you could get the PDF loaded in. So, I mean, that could be cool. Um, I think Ignacy, Ignacy's okay with that. Um, you also have Tabletop uh, Tabletopia that has the like the seven scenarios, so maybe more could go on there. Um, it would be kind of cool to play some of the scenarios before you actually got the game, right? Because I mean, it's going to come out. Uh, it's going to be it's gotta be print. The campaign has to finish, and you have to, you know, print the stuff, ship it to people. It's February. Um, yeah. So, Ignacio will look into that. That'd be, that'd be kind of cool, like a backer thing, right? Um, yeah. Better luck next time. Thanks, Victor. Uh, let's see here. Oh, and, and I brought up earlier. I don't know if Ignacio was watching, but uh, I talked about maybe Ignacio character. You know, I I suggested that that Ignacio didn't want to die on the island with us. Um, well, I think it'd be kind of cool if we had a Nazi character, regardless if it actually made it in to the game, but if you had like a print and play thing, or we make it our own so we can kill Ignacy Island with us. So if you have any ideas, put them in the comment section and use the tag Ignacy as a character, or maybe Ignacy character, pound Ignacy character, and we'll get all these cool ideas and I'll, I'll make one up and, and tweak it if, if need be. Uh, maybe I can get... Joanna to help me out and we can kind of make something fun because Ignacio should die on the island with us regardless if he has a miniature or not he can be he can he can be, he can be the horse he could be the parrot maybe there'll be a donkey or <laughs> I always joke if I ever, ever draw the uh, goat from the discovery tokens that uh, that's Ignacy and unfortunately most games he doesn't last oh well, he goes to the farm he goes to the farm and has the great rest of his life off the island but somehow I get a piece of, of food and uh, upheld. Go figure, right? <laughs> oh, and a Robinson Crusoe character would be cool. I think that was a cool idea. Um, um, let's see here. So you can reroll any die. I always interpret this as that you can choose which ones you want to reroll, and that can be more than one. Let's read, check the rolling reading here. I thought it was only one die. And so discard two tokens to reroll any green action die. Yeah, I think that's. I would say that's one die. And that. I mean, that's, that's still pretty powerful, right? A reroll can be pretty, pretty, uh, pretty powerful actually. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that's in the rule book. It's just one die. I could be wrong, but maybe it's worded differently. But. I feel like Paul Grogan would, would have made that right. Um. 
I like this one. Playing with Tom, Ignacy asked Tom to give him his food so that Ignacy's character could eat twice and gain one life. I can't find that rule anywhere. Well, that rule doesn't exist. That's called being a designer. And when you're a designer, you can change the rule to your game whenever you want. <laughs> maybe maybe that is is a, a, an ability that Ignacy, Ignacy's character could have. He could alter a rule by one. So like... Instead of you taking one wound, you can, he can make it down to zero. So if you can take three wounds, it just becomes two. Um, or instead of producing one food, you produce two food once. That, that could be kind of cool, right? Like a designer power. And there'd be one about cookies, you know? So um, he has, maybe Ignacy has a stash of cookies. He can, he can spend tokens to get free, free food. <laughs> uh, so an update coming, that was supposed to be inventory, which which adventures and how many would require the mystery expansion? That I don't know, Alex. You might have to check the comments on that one. I, um, yeah, it wasn't an ability thing. Yeah, that's right, designer power. Okay, uh, well, uh, I can't think of anything throw else to bring up. I guess um, if you like this content um, and you're watching on Twitch, you can. Uh, what's the term? I guess subscribe or follow. I guess it's follow. Follow us on uh, Twitch uh, game, uh, the Twitch uh, Portal Games, Twitch. Um, also the YouTube Portal Games. Um, there's also Portal Game Gameplays. I believe is that what's actually called. There's another YouTube channel that you can do. Um, we also have a. So if you follow, if you follow that, um, you can get. There you go. Thanks, Komolowski. Uh because we also have uh, the Captain playing Nirishima Hex with, uh, weekly. We have Paul and David. They uh, they play various things like on table. Uh, they've been using Tabletopia recently, like 50 First State. Uh, I can next Tabletop Simulator for that one. Uh, they've done Alien Artifacts. We've had some days off where we just did something completely different. Like we did uh, Castle of Tuscany once. We did. Um, what else? That was another game we did. Just offshoot. Uh, I think it was bon it was a bon it was a bonfire actually that was neat so yeah every once in a while we'll do some random one um, like that but we try to generally keep the portal games because obviously portal games channel but uh, and we've been pushing Ignacia to get 51st day on Tabletopia so that'd be kind of fun to play uh, I'll that on there yeah on YouTube it's portal games gameplays so I was I was close and Twitch is portal games US on Twitch. Um, but if you haven't checked the Game Found Project, go ahead. Um, and if you do pledge, remember there's the pledge manager afterwards so you can add things on. Um, Ignacy and his team have been very, very um, big in checking the comments. There's an update every day. Um, and one of the first things I do in the morning is check to see what the next uh, thing is. Like, oh, look, it's, oh, it's an upgrade to the book, or it's um, the new miniature with cards. Like, that's, that's really cool. Uh, and I imagine I'm probably not alone in that situation. And I think we're almost at. Let's pull up the. I actually have the my browser here. We go. Oh, that's, that's my random.org. <laughs> that's here. There you go. Let's see how many people we have now. We're, we're almost 9,500 backers. That's uh, that's nine days left. So we got plenty of time for some cool stuff. And let's see what else. Uh, there's more to come. I think I'm missing something important. Um, oh yeah, uh, so the tutorial uh, game. So that's gonna happen. We'll have to see what, what day that's gonna be. I was thinking it might be a, I think it was nice to have it on Saturday so people in, in Europe and other time zones can, can and do it. Can, can come and join us. Otherwise, if it was during the week, I had to do like eight o'clock in Eastern, and that would Europeans would be out, and that probably wouldn't work very well for most people. Of course, I also be working that day too. Like I have a full daytime job. This is this is all volunteer, right? Um. So. So probably Saturday, maybe same time, and I assume we'll probably just play through a scenario and kind of walk through it. Maybe we may not even be play through the whole scenario. Maybe we'll do uh, Castaway. Maybe we'll do, uh, like I suggested, the the Cursed Islands, the second scenario. If you're having a problem with the first scenario, do the Cursed Islands scenario. It's a, it's a little easier, in my opinion. 
Um, yeah, so, and we'll go through every every step and I'll try to slow myself down and I'll have another person on here with me, hopefully. And we'll just, every bit we can. You're still gonna have to play the game in order to learn it, right? So you can't just learn from me teaching you how to play the game, unless I was sitting with you and we actually ran through the whole thing. But you'll get a good feel and you just have to do a dive for the scenario. You'll make mistakes. You'll, you'll probably always make a mistake or, or, or five in your first game. And you'll think you won, but you didn't because you can't win your first game of Robinson. That's not possible. <laughs> the island knows, and the island makes you once you know, once you die on the island. I mean, um, this might be a good question for Ignacy about the app. I'd, I'd like to maybe try to do a quick stream on the app if we could maybe get a prototype or something to show like, hey, this is how it's supposed to work. Um, if you have any first Martians, right, you wouldn't know how the app on the phone. On, your, on how the app would work with event cards and stuff. Uh, that or, or Ignacy's team can do a quick video, maybe on um, something like that. But um, that's going to be fun to do that. So, okay, uh, I think that's pretty much all I have. Yeah, like I guess if any questions, just go in the comments. Um, Ignacy's team, I'll try to chirp into what I know. And uh, uh, have a great day. Let's see here. Do I actually have my outro? What's my outro here? All right. Have a good one, everybody. Have a great day and a great weekend. Oh, happy Easter tomorrow.